Belogy exists on several different levels. And this Archimedes screw is really interesting to me for that reason. On the one hand, if you need to lift water from a low place to a high place, the simplest thing you can do is like use your hands and just lift it. Next level up, you've got a bucket or a jar and you can lift it that way. But lifting water is miserable work. And so you invent something like this. Now you can just sit in one spot and just crank something and then it will lift water up. The skill required to make this is very similar to that of the barrel maker. You've got a whole bunch of slats of wood that are being bound together to make the tube and then a whole bunch of slats of wood on a central column that are hauling the water up. And it has to be fairly precise to get a seal so that the water will be pushed up by this rotating screw. But this, is, this has been around for a long time. It's old. The trouble with it though is that you're still providing all the power to move it yourself. In the background right here we've got a windmill that's doing the exact same job. This is the next level up. There is no motor, no fuel required, but if the wind is blowing, then the water moves for you. And this is the internal working of that mill. You can see over here on the left, the Archimedes screw, or at least the top of it sticking out. This one is not in a fully contained tube, it's just in a, um, a canal, like a half pipe. And that is connected here at an angle to that spiked wheel, which is being driven off of the main shaft of the mill. This thing is insanely cool. It represents a higher level of technology. Today we'd consider this old school, but compared to lifting water by hand, this is insanely upgraded. Particularly in lifting water, any improvement is felt immediately. The clicking of that Archimedes screw in the background is such an improvement, like a legitimate improvement over, over lifting it by hand. And this is such an improvement over that. The crazy thing that Joseph just pointed out about this one though, is that even with all the insane amount of effort and technology required to create a mill like this, with intermeshed wooden gears and a super precise screw, you're only getting a six foot elevation gain. Compare that with, say, you know, a pump that we would use today electric and it can go as high as you need it to go and it's it's staggering it's amazing it was worth building this to get a six foot elevation gain in water and we can take that totally for granted now if you're interested in this sort of video then please hit the like and subscribe button below and we'll see you next time